good statewide. We got a bit of heat this week and all of that good news for farmers with corn now 93% emerged across Wisconsin. Soybeans are now mostly planted and the first cutting of alfalfa is about 75% complete. This is quite a stark contrast to 2019. Farmers are on average 22 days ahead of last year when it comes to crops. Pick your own strawberry season is underway around Wisconsin. Now the, the actual really process might look a little bit different as farmers do their part to limit the spread of COVID-19. Uh, At some locations, people will be asked to wait in their cars and until there is space for them to head on out to the field. It's always best to check in on social media or call the hotlines that many fruit growers have before you make the trip. The best thing is, is always call before you're going to come. You know, don't just assume we're going to have it for the whole day because some days we don't. The crop itself looks pretty good. Winter was mild and that's what you want, which helps out these farmers in the northern parts of our state and towards the lake. The berries are still about a week off. Once picking starts, it will last roughly a month. A reminder now for farmers to apply for their portion of the $50 million in direct farm assistance being administered by the state. Thousands of farmers have already applied. Individual payments will range from $1,000 to $3,500 and will be issued after the application period closes on June 29th. You can apply online. Our family did it in about five minutes. You can find the link by visiting the Midwest Farm Weekly page on wearegreenbay.com. Well, first there was that toilet paper shortage, then it was yeast and meat, and now we're seeing it with some plants for gardens. In a normal year, many greenhouses would have those plants available until the end of July. This year, food plants, including tomatoes, sweet peppers, and basil are selling fast. At this greenhouse where those flats usually sit, simply bare shelving. Experts say it could be fears over food shortages, but it could also be that people have had weeks inside their homes and they're planning for spring. I think because people were sheltering in place or staying home, there was a lot of uh, of uh, things on the internet, well, go start a garden, grow your own food, you know. So that's the people took that to heart and they're doing it. And we think that might be the start of a trend. Not only are these garden centers struggling to find vegetable plants, but some seed varieties are sold out as well.